Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. Uh, you may recognize this voice as not Reiner. This is Ben Reeves. I'm getting ready to play some Far Cry 4 and show you guys the game. And I'm here with our intern, Matt Stolpe. Hi, everybody. Yep. And Wade Wojak. Hello. Who I hear is a Far Cry from a Far Cry expert. But <laughs> Yeah, I think that's <laughs> about right. Look at that. Their, their logo is broken. Never too late to start playing Far Cry, though. No, no. This is probably a good entry point for you. All right, here we are, pressing the A button. We're actually using Reiner's profile, so it's like he's with us in spirit. So we're giving him all the achievements. Right. But we're going to start a new game and see from the beginning. And let's just do it offline. Although there's some cool f online functionality to this game, with like playing co-op and whatnot, and I know you've actually played a little bit of co-op, haven't you, Matt? Actually, uh, no, I haven't played the co-op. Oh, you lied uh, to me. But no, I, I, I told you uh, <laughs> what was going on with that. We were uh, trying to play it, and the servers weren't oh, working. Oh, uh, well. But I, I have played uh, a little bit of this game, and I, I like what I've seen. If you like Far Cry 3, you're definitely going to like right. Far Cry 4. So imagine playing the game like you did, but playing it with another person. More or less, And yeah. then describe your co-op experience to me. All right. Well, uh, uh, well, it starts off very similar you know you're you got your guns shooting a lot of people right and uh you know my partner was with me right and we were just you and know, he was also shooting yeah he was doing a lot of shooting uh but also there's the whole stealth element we uh you know, were crouching down in the bushes and taking people out in tandem right yeah and that was that was the best part the coordinated tactics right and you guys were together that's yeah. the main thing oh yeah it was it was a robust co-op experience so this is uh the new game just comes out on tuesday and stars AJ Ghoul, who's like the main character. He's like a guy. They got a lot of criticism in Far Cry 3. I don't know if you guys remember this. Oh, yeah, the white, like, white yeah, savior criticism. Sort of a white savior, like, because it was a white, you know, preppy dude who just like came in from another country and basically, you know, liberated all these people. Yeah, no, he's just, I'm going to save all the Pacific Islanders. Right, right. Which, by the way, and this is a spoiler, so if you don't want a spoiler for Far Cry 3, um, stop listening Mute. but yeah <laughs> but like the end of the game has two endings and one of the endings is where you basically die and I, I remember reading something from one of the writers of the game and he actually said it was actually kind of being a commentary against that the sort of idea of like people coming in at like the white guy saving the world you know yeah you're basically being used the whole game right uh, so you're, less, you're kind yeah. of a puppet is what it is so it's actually the reverse of what people were complaining it was so I just thought that was interesting yeah, but so, you have to you have to play to the end to get that context. Right, right exactly. So anyway, I love the <laughs> the lady hitting the monkey on the yeah, head. That's uh, great. This looks great. I actually went on the um, cover story about I don't know what it was like six to eight What's months happening? ago, and I, I saw this scene when we were out there, and it looks way better than when I saw it. Even and it looked good when I saw it. I was like, this looks really good. Oh yeah, they've and touched looks, it up. Yeah, this looks even better. Um, but to go back to the story. Far Cry 3, they got that criticism, the kind of white guy coming in. So they were like, well, this time we're going to do it differently. We're going to play. You're going to be AJ, who is actually a native to this country of Karat. And you're coming back to scatter your mother's ashes on uh, the mountains. So that's kind of like the basics of the story. Like, you were a kid. You were born here. You moved away when you were young. Your mother took you away. And I think you learn more about your past throughout the game. Yeah, they parse it out. Right, but the the basic premise is you're you've returned to your mother's dying wish was to scatter ashes here, and so you've returned. Obviously, a lot of civil unrest going on in this region. Yeah, something's not right. And this is a fictional country, which I think is clever. So you don't have to, you know, try and make it accurate to what's going on in the world necessarily. Yeah, you don't have to get too embroiled in actual yes, politics. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, and they went out to. Um, Where's the the Himalayas? Uh, Nepal. Nepal. I think that's where they went. Nepal. They actually sent like a team of three or four dudes from the development studio to go out to Nepal and you know check them out and like see like what's this country actually like. Ryder told us to pay attention to this character right here. Yeah, it's Troy Baker doing the voice. <laughs> oh, is it really? I <laughs> uh -huh. love Troy Baker. Yeah, listen closely and see if you can like make listen it out. for Booker. Stop the bus. Uh, shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. You can kind of hear it? A little bit. Stop. Shoot. 
Troy Baker quickly becoming the Nolan North of video games. Oh, I think he's surpassed sound. Nolan at this point. Yeah. But it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! You fucking chopper, you couldn't fucking do that! There you go. Remember that scene in Casino where Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci, excuse me, stabs that guy in the neck with a pen? I actually haven't seen Casino, so. Well, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but when is Joe Pesci not stabbing people? Yeah, it's kind of his shtick. Right. At least there's a silver line. He stabbed Reiner with a pen the other day. That's why Reiner's not here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Well, get well soon, Reiner. Yeah, our hearts are with you. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Uh oh. Is this your plus one? <laughs> no, things aren't going to be good for that well, guy. Well, he's the guy who helped us get into the country. Strong, silent no. type. I like it. I what is that he's using to stab people with? Looks like a sniper round. It might actually be a Very simple, a bullet you know. of some kind, yeah. Like a large bullet. Monkeys, they just I'd say it's probably a sniper, other. given the long yeah. point. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to... Oh, actually, oh it it's a, a pen. pen. It, yeah. yeah. It really is like the camera. There casino. We are. How's that for a selfie? Awesome. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. And we'll be off on our grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> <laughs> I really just wanted to watch his face. Oh, yeah. Should I stay or should I go? Of course, Pagan Min's uh, keeping up the Far Cry 3 tradition of having a uh, charismatic yet completely unhinged antagonist. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. and... Because what was his name in Far Cry 3? Voss. Uh, that's right, Voss. Who was... Completely insane, and actually not... Again, if you haven't played Far Cry 3, just go play that game, because we're just going to spoil the crap out of it. He wasn't even, like, the main, like, bad guy in that no, game. No, no, they Which was super interesting to me. Like, halfway, halfway through. through. The, yeah, exactly. And so... But he was the by far the more interesting villain. Oh, completely. So, yeah. with this game, they're like, oh, we learned our lesson here. We're going to, like, make the main guy the more interesting guy. <laughs> and we're going to, like, get to him right away and, like, yeah, kind of show you more of him. Yeah, and some may argue with Far Cry 3 this that it ends after Voss is done. So, fresh start. Introductions. Yeah. I'm kind of in that camp. Like, like you're the rest of the game is just sort of a... You know, you're just, you're just doing the rest of it. Like, you know, the fun part. Oh, it's not like the Voss. story ends. Yeah, no, not the story. You really don't remember me, do you? Your Are those the ashes next to him? To yeah. The monkeys? <laughs> Oh, that's like your mother was a monkey, down. by the way. I don't know. If... Spoiler, Spoiler alert. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Here we go. Hmm? Nope. Right. His face is on the money. It's quite an achievement. Smile. Doesn't have the same amount of blood. That's you. That's... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an arts and crafts sure. project. You can do that at home with your kids. <laughs> it's your splatter. Yeah. Oh, hey. Is he going to eat that? A little bit. Oh, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Aww. That's not right. That takes me back. Her ashes take you back, Pagan? Really? Yeah, you were eating her ashes before she was dead? How does that work? She told me she loved me. She's just going to mix it into his hot cocoa. tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no. men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance is built up. So... When your Thought we said no phones at the table, Pagan. Come on, <laughs> get your elbows off the table. <laughs> I couldn't help but blame. I love his pink suit, though, too. Oh yeah, he's nice. rocking it. Yeah, stylish guy. Me? Oh, was the oh what's gonna happen here? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, well, there we go. Right hey. there. Checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. 
You don't text for help, you cry for help. Look He's actually tweeting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. It's also linked to his Tumblr. Yeah. Cry Bruce Willis. Help. He was like, Bruce Willis, come <laughs> save me. <laughs> He's Instagramming for help. Yeah. <laughs> LOL, YOLO. Looks like this is a job for the Expendables. <laughs> See, that's why you use phones, actually, because they go further than just, like, your voice. Right. This guy's oh, yeah. insane. Yeah, I don't think Find Pagan understands that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a recluse. I think he's lived in this now, mansion for, like, ten years or so, just right. barely leaving. I think that's what, what the Far Cry lore don't says. Move, so maybe he just doesn't know how phones work. Yuma, we need to talk. It's actually lunchtime here, so crab rangoon sounds pretty good. Oh, it sounds tasty. And if you actually stay here, wait maybe about 10, 12 minutes, you can get an alternate ending to the game. That's what I heard. If you quote unquote enjoy the crab rangoon. No but, way. But that's that's a little little boring for Is that uh, here? a test chamber. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they give you the option to actually eat the crab rangoon. Wait, I can take this money. Oh, you can totally take that Thanks. money. Choke's on you, Pagan. Is so, it? are you saying if you want, the game can end right here? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. You, if you wait and enjoy the Crab Rangoon, Pagan Min will come back for you and uh, take you to where your mother wants to be scattered. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at all that money. Significantly less violence, too. Oh, what the fuck? I hear yelling. Yeah. Troy Baker also did the voice for the main character. Did he really? I think he did the voices of all the characters in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. even, even the women? Yeah, he's got an incredible range. Yeah. He did the elephants. That shouldn't the surprise shotgun. me that he's in this game now. He's in every AAA release, it seems. Yeah, he's, he's doing pretty good for himself. You think AJ is like... Oh, wait, let's read this. Travel itinerary. Oh, from Minneapolis. Minneapolis, even. Oh, it's a slight nod to Game Informer, obviously. Heck yeah. Clearly. Tickets are non-refundable. <laughs> What's this? You don't see too many flights flying out of Minneapolis going all the way over there, that part of the world. <laughs> now, somebody just really wants to be out here. Hope you're having a good time in Dubai. Goodbye. Yeah. So this is, should we assume, the guy who Pagan Min just dragged off? I'm, I'm not too sure. I mean, this is this is Pagan Min's, I think, mansion. So uh, This I would is imagine. his summer home. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine that maybe it belongs to, uh, you know, a goon uh, or maybe Pagan Min himself. Well, I mean, I'm assuming it's somebody who he's torturing. Oh, this, this, and this yeah, he's leaving this here. I don't know why he's leaving this here. Well, these are just here at the altar, right? That's completely right. innocuous. <clears throat> Means nothing. That's where he puts his mail when he comes in. Yeah. He actually screens oh, every we're... letter his henchmen get. They're really throwing cash at you here. <laughs> they just want you to be well prepared. No joke. All right. Do you think AJ's like, man, Pagan? He's looking at the urn. He's like, man, should I try this? Yeah. Should I just taste it? Pagan liked it. Maybe if I just like salt it on top of my crab rangoon. Yeah, maybe just needs a little ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> now, Matt, going back to your your timed uh, thing where you said the game could end uh, right away. Are you basically timed in this space? Like, if you just stand around here and don't leave I don't, after a certain amount of time? I don't know about on this floor. I know that uh, uh, the video that I saw, the person stayed completely in the dinner room. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't think there's any going back here now. Gotcha. Well, this is interesting. Yeah. Man, that sound can, can carry. Oh, uh-oh. I'm guessing this guy's being held for more than just texting. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got a battery hooked up to him. They're trying to jumpstart their generators. With his nipples. Oh, do I smell a little moral ambiguity in this game? Golden it is the middle path, of a civil war, terrorists. I think. The civil war or a civil war? <laughs> It's the Civil War. Yeah. It takes place in the 1800s. This is brother on brother. This is Boston. Ajigali. My name is Sabal. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? What are you doing here? Friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Darban? 
You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darpan would understand. Now stay close. <laughs> Pretty sure Darpan just wants to be out of the torture chamber. Shit, well, uh oh, uh -oh. Quickly. screw that guy. Ajay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One, two, three. Take All right, let's go. Do you have a weapon? Okay. No, I'm no, not running no. either. No. All right, here we go. Ajay is just naked and afraid right now. Karate I'm running. Edition. I'm running. <laughs> oh gosh, I've never felt this alive. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a good sprint. You yeah. took that like a champ. Well, he's been meaning to get his car Whoa, elephants. since he got off the plane. Now, that's a carryover I really like. Oh, Whoa, is that in uh, Far Cry 3? They'd play that, uh, like, you know, little, I guess, like, authentic music. Every time you'd get into a car. Don't shoot through the windshield. Oh, it's already gone. <laughs> yeah, take that. Good. Oh. Watch out! All right. Be pretty cool if you could drive one of those ATVs right now. I know. You know how they always have like a hundred of them too. Mm -hmm. It's always like way more than a henchman would ever actually have. Oh yeah. Henchman would probably have like I don't know six. You know, yeah. You shoot like three dozen <laughs> people. And when Whoa. it when it gets destroyed, right? Like Pagan would be upset. Like you ruined the ATV. Yeah. You're, right. You're you dead. ruined all of them. <laughs> yeah. All hundred ATVs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would kill any normal person. What just happened? Airbags? Yeah, that's probably true. Now I mean, land? there's no windshield, no airbags. You probably weren't even wearing a seatbelt. You landed in a tree. That's how you get a, a tree branch through your through Oh, your no. Chest. You actually landed on the ground. The car disintegrated. That's how bad the crash was. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks like you looked out. This guy got a tree on him. He's just taking a nap. I don't know. Fuck. The driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. Now, is this like you Jurassic Park? Jeep. Is the Jeep stuck in the tree? Is that our Jeep? Oh, <laughs> that would be it. Yeah. And you survived that. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how Unscathed I ended up over there. That's weird. <laughs> You were uninjured. Right, so I should probably hide, right? Uh, that's my guess. This is a stealth sequence. Ooh. All right, so the rock throw returns. The little radar thing returns. I liked in uh, Blood Dragon when you were just throwing robot hearts out as bait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good. All right, let's distract those guys. All of them. You think I can get them? Every single one, just in unison. Oh, oh you didn't hear that. Like they just want to talk? No, I'm throwing a rock. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> that was bad. Why can't you pick up a gun? Yeah, I think he could have. Oh, did I pick up a gun? No, but you could have. You picked oh. up ammo. You didn't pick up a gun. My bad. <laughs> I think he knows you're there. Well, I threw a rock. I don't know why. This guy's coming around, too. I don't like this. You could probably, you know, just follow him around. Yeah, that's right. Oh, nope. He's. There I want to hit him in the head go. with the rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got him. <laughs> Surprisingly, oh. that he's unhurt. Yeah, he I'd didn't be do down. Anything. Yeah, he's not yeah. even. Didn't phase him one bit. That's messed up. Oh, let's see like if I can. Ah, like crap. Terribly Take down. small rock either. Yeah, you better uh, heal up there. Oh. Oh, what is that? That doesn't oh. look right. Either right. you had that stuck in you from the beginning, or that's how you heal yourself. Where's this guy? Yeah, take that. This is uh, Surgeon Simulator 2014. So those guys are probably alerted to my presence, right? Gone, 
I got more money from Pig and Men's crate. Yeah, I mean, you could you could buy a car with the money you have right now. That's like 35 G's. Oh, nice. You think I can swim in this? Yes. Swim underwater. Nice. Now, do you guys normally play stealth game? Do you guys normally play when you have the option? Do you play stealth or do you play... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I generally try to. I mean, for one, I think that's how the game wants you to play. But two, uh, you know, it's generally a little more fun than just, you know, just oh, shoot. go through and shoot really? people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like shooters like Halo don't give you that option. But, like, when I'm playing something like Dishonored, uh, I want to play it basically on that, like, hard mode, you know? Oof. That was a little rough, guys. Don't worry, you got a bandage on. You're good. Yeah. yeah. I love that you can just heal from anything. Cures all bullet wounds. Far Cry Sorry. 3 had a really great one where you, like, pop your dislocated thumb back into oh. place. Yeah, I actually like that one a lot. Search this guy. I found a grenade. And a condom. Hmm. <laughs> At least he's being safe about his sex. <laughs> he's got protection now. He can go do anything. <laughs> The condom was actually protection for the bullets. <clears throat> right. Oh, here's a carcass. So, yeah, that was a cool thing about uh, 3, Far Cry 3, is, like, you could, you know, skin animals. You could hunt animals and, like, use that to, like, build better wallets. I mean, it's basically telling you what, what you're doing here. Um, and then, or build better, like, equipment bags. Um, carry more ammo, carry more money, stuff like that. Yeah, Far Cry 3 had a really lot of cool. great wildlife. Mm-hmm. And in this one, they have elephants. Elephants you can ride, no less. You can ride, but you cannot hunt them, which is I thought was interesting. Really? Oh. Yeah, because elephants are, I don't know, kind of sacred, and it's like nobody here would want you to kill an elephant. That I makes think also there's kind of like a, of you know, maybe we shouldn't be killing elephants. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of poaching going on there. Right. I think they're endangered. Exactly. All right. What do you guys think? Uh, Toss the bait. Oh, yeah. Did it say where the bait was? So this is uh, cool. I think if you press right on the D-pad, because what it'll do, I think, is it attracts predators in the area. So Right was a rock. Uh, maybe left then. You still got your, your camera out. There you go. Maybe up? No, up... Uh, Oh, Let right there, you can, can select it. the meat. Oh, here it is. There we and, go. Yeah. Now, throw the meat. He's like, what? What is this? Oh, oh, wow. oh bear. I love how instantly a bear comes in. <laughs> yeah, the bear, oh. the bear just knows. He just wanted to make out with him. That's brutal. Oh, this is good. Oh, right in the face. Oh, look at that shake, too. Man, that bear is not going down. He must have a lot of bullets in him. You think I can finish the bear off? I mean, you're definitely going to want to weaken him up because he's going to go for you. And... Oh, you're not dry. Okay. Maybe I should attract another bear to take <laughs> out the bear. Oh, blue. <laughs> Sorry, it's ah. just the bear necessities. That didn't, yeah, oh. that did not look like a bear skin. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That guy's drowning. Oh. All right, I want to get this treasure. Well, first of all, health, yeah. so that's nice. Got to get more bandages for those bullet wounds. And I got some rice bags. So in case I accidentally like, fall in the river or something, I can put my phone in there yeah. and dry it out. <laughs> Unless the rice gets wet, then I don't think it works. Yeah, how do you dry out rice? Put it in a bag of phones? <laughs> right. I probably shouldn't spend all of the test chamber looting dudes' bodies. So let's go maybe to the next... Let's try to speed through here. Now you played, did you play all of, uh, how many Far Cry's did you play? Uh, Matt? I've 
played three and I've played Blood Dragon. I played a little bit of the first one and I haven't played any of the second, although I'm intrigued by it, even though I hear it gets a little more flack than the other ones. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely more dated, too. Um, I liked... I liked them all. I mean, three, I think, is where it really, like, hit something. They hit, mm -hmm. like, a magic formula. And so you can tell because, like, four doesn't change it up too much. Yeah, four uh, is very much three, uh, but, you know, just with, you know, co-op, new wildlife, more colorful setting. Oh, yeah. All right, You're I can probably that guy. shoot that crate open. There's another dude up there. Another guy over there. All right. You think that uh, with the popularity of photo modes now that that camera can, like, work as the photo mode for this game? Yeah, you can take photos before? Well, you could take photos in Far Cry 3, but I don't think that they uh, saved anywhere. It was just kind of like a cosmetic well, thing. You so maybe doing. you can link your Instagram account to Far Cry 4? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a stealth. All of your friends just start seeing these pictures of bears. <laughs> what? what's, what's going on? Did you move to the Himalayas? All right. I really want to shoot that cage open, but I don't have like a silenced weapon. Well, I think when the cage is open, uh, they're not going to be too concerned with you. True. You can always throw a rock after they detect you. Yeah. That always works. I don't want to know if I can get up <laughs> Even there Even after they've seen you. The rock is more important. Oh, crap. <laughs> I really wanted to jump in behind that guy and just stab him. What, did he hear me? Oh, gosh. Uh, how does he not see right. you? Okay, I'm so in the bushes. The further back he was, the more he saw just you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he heard me. You bet your sweet ass. I'm pretty sure noise. that in that situation, you would be seen in real life. Well, I don't know. Let's wait until he... You got him. Okay. What's up, buddy? What? No! Ah! Well, that was weird. Oh, he screamed. Yeah, I'm gonna let that guy out. Yeah, if you let him out, I think your troubles will be over. The nice thing was, you used to be able to just shoot the cage, right? Yeah. Anywhere? There you go. Nice. I had no idea where that came from. Oh, gosh, yes! <clears throat> that guy's gone. And I think in Far Cry Tradition, too, he's just a bullet sponge. Yeah, this is usually pretty good. I can probably take him out. Oh. I'm helping the cat out. Brutal efficiency, Ben. All right, now I just got a cat to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the roof. You're fine. Hopefully. Yeah, cats can't jump or climb. Yeah. Cats <laughs> are known for how unnimble they are. Oh, is it a snow leopard? Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> what exactly are you taking? Like, what part of the body are you harvesting there? I think it's the liver. <laughs> <laughs> Bears go crazy for liver. Yeah, it's pretty much. And then you can sell these off to uh, the villagers of Karat, who I guess really, you know, just are big proponents of the, the <laughs> liver trade. Where are you going to put your wedding photos? Why not in this crate that we keep right by the snow leopard prisons? Makes sense. Opium ball. All right. So we just escaped. We're trying to meet up with, uh, what was his name, Sabal? Yes, Sabal. Him and uh, the rest of the Golden Path. And they're like, like you said, the Civil War's going on, and they're trying to like sort of set things right. I guess I got to go this way. I want to go up there. Yeah. I don't really want to swim. <laughs> I do like in video games, you like hop in the river, you'll be wet, and then 30 seconds later, you're dry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so Pagan Min apparently has just free access to the Golden Path's radio frequency. This terrorist group is apparently not very well coordinated if all of their communications are already being monitored. <laughs> they need AJ's help. I'm a little confused at your relationship with the villain. Like, I want that. does he actually like you, or does he like you like sarcastically? Uh, well, he used to uh, be in a relationship with AJ's mother. Oh, okay. Yes. 
and uh you know i i, I think the implication is that, that there were uh there was some bad blood between aj's father and pagan men and mm -hmm. uh it, just a big nasty love triangle okay so does he like still want you on his side or does he like i, I think so i think that he'd probably rather uh AJ join him than uh Let's stealth kill this golden one. path. <laughs> yeah, where's your goat takedown? Ah, oh. <laughs> well, I'll let him go. <laughs> You'll let him go. Tell your friends about me. <laughs> I do like this. You're up in the mountains, so you'll have more mountainy stuff. So I could jump over there. Could I make that? I think you need to sprint first. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll play it safe. Yeah. Even then. I'll play it safe on this rickety Even, walk well, here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play it safe. <coughs> oh my gosh. This Never is in a million safe. years would I do this in real life. This is insane. I'd be like, uh, is there an elevator? I'd just, I'd crawl over this walkway. <laughs> but yeah, you, you definitely see a lot of pictures like this um, <coughs> of that region of, of Nepal. You know, those rickety walks with the ropes on the walls. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll do something like that. Live your life, man. <laughs> Where's it coming from? I don't know. There's a rope. Oh, there's a rope apparently. there. Oh, this is a new mechanic, too. Uh, Far Cry 3 didn't have this before, but uh, in 4, there's this whole grappling hook mechanic. So it, it, it introduces kind of a platforming element to the whole thing. So how linear are these are these levels? They look Whoa, this is chaotic. They look like they're not too open. Well, I mean it's a, no, it's an open world game. They're just like leading you through the first part to mm -hmm. kind of introduce oh, okay. you to the mechanics. Okay. So it'll open up here in a minute, I'm sure. Gotcha. Yeah, in a grand Ubisoft tradition, uh, there's you know just like a bunch of bases that you need to like take out to open up the map. Uh, and generally, those bases, the way you approach them, are very freeform. You can go in guns blazing, you can go in stealthy, and they give you lots of different opportunities uh, for each. Sure. But yeah, this is sort of the on-rails intro sequence. So I bet this is the tower. If you played Far Cry 3, you know there are these like radio towers scattered around. <clears throat> kind of in the fashion of Assassin's Creed. You would climb up them and get a better view of the land. I'll take that. And then you would uh, get a view of the map, like your map would open. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kai. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in Kirat, especially for the Golden Bar. Are those army guys still looking for me? Pagan men will stop at nothing to get you back. Damn. Some of Pagan's men are to track us. They'll be here. Does the bell ring when you shoot it? I know. You'd think they'd have another gun to spare for you. <laughs> well, they got <clears throat> they got plenty of bullets, apparently. Yeah. And RPGs. Huh. All right. This must be Pagan's dudes. Oh, they're all wearing snow camouflage. Let's take some photos. What is that? Oh, what is that? Is that a oh. dead <coughs> animal? It looks like a dead animal. It just looks super weird. I was like, it looked like it was moving, but... Well, it's got that, like, sheen over it, like it's a, like a highlighted object. Oh, gosh. My guys are dying! There we go. Oh, that's not a grenade. Oh, did you throw me? Yeah, I think I just attracted <laughs> a bear. Oh, no! <laughs> well, what happened? There was a grenade that landed right by your feet. I so, didn't even see it. You basically traded. You tossed him the meat. He tossed you the right. grenade. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'll trade you. We can only see imagine a better weapon what here. that epic bear encounter must have been like. Can I not equip another gun? Yeah, I don't think, I think this is the only gun you have at the moment, but when you get all these other weapons, you'll have plenty of ammo for them. Alright, 
I'll try tagging dudes again. Yeah, that's uh pretty much a necessity, given the fact that they're all wearing snow camo. All right, see anybody else? Uh, not yet. No. Oh, all right, I have right a grenade. There. I actually want to use it. Gosh damn it! Here we go. Take that. There's like nobody over there. Sounded cool. Oh, I bet you, you could take that if you wanted. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> See you guys! Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Oh. <clears throat> Failed. That was not a fail. That was epic. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Oh. All right, we're actually going to do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> screwing around. <laughs> I thought you had, like, a parachute or something you could engage. Yeah. I'm really going to do it this time, guys. I want to see some... Well, we met some ball again. But I want to see what the next objective is. I want to climb this tower. Alright. Yeah. It's like a Call of Duty gun. Like a... Yeah. It, it feels War that way, yeah. Call of Duty 2 gun, really. It's probably just like an, an AK, isn't it? Yeah. Or something similar. I mean, I think the best way to ensure your survival is, yeah, to... Alright, not taking that death trap Not again. take that thing. Yeah. Don't trust me behind the wheel. Yeah. I see you. I think you still have that grenade now. That's uh, right. It's not equipped, though. Whoop. Oh, you have three. They do not pause. Oh, yeah. So Those guys are going to eat it. Come on. <coughs> now, the shooting the rock. doesn't feel too different from Far Cry 3, right? This is about the same. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I like the shooting in 3. I like the stealth stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like Blood Dragon was, it really came together for me. And I hope they do something else like Blood Dragon. I don't yeah. know why they wouldn't. They've actually said, like, it's a possibility. But then they also said, like, holy crap. Whoa! Where do I need to go? Oh, my God! Good thing you stayed in the house. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what would have happened if you would try to flee on one of the uh, snowmobiles? Uh, a James James Bond movie would start. Yeah. Uh, the James Bond movie where he's up in like the the North Pole. Yeah. And he's he's like uh, kite surfing. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Who's in that? That was the Halle Berry one. Uh, oh, Die Another Day. Geez. The Invisible Car. That's yep. Thing, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm glad. You know what? Those, I like actually Pierce Brosnan a lot. I, I like uh, Goldeneye. Well, Goldeneye yeah. was classic. Goldeneye then. was classic. Yeah. But it just progressively got weirder. And yeah. Weirder. World ridiculous. is not enough. It was you step down from Goldeneye? Right. Goldeneye and was they really continued just the stepping peak. down was the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they just got more and more ridiculous. No, Ma Mamma Mia was the peak <laughs> of Pierce Brosnan <laughs> yeah. of Pierce Brosnan's James Bond career. Yep. <laughs> He was undercover the whole time, and nobody knew because he didn't say his name ah, immediately. Very good. I knew it was him the whole time. Oh, oh Goldeneye's great, great film. My favorite moment, I think, is uh, in Casino Royale when the bartender says to, to Bond, "Shaking his stirred," and he's like, Do you, "Does it look like I give a damn?" <laughs> he saw Bacon's chopper nearby. He's never done this far south, and I How do we get off on that? Tangent? I have no idea. Oh, the kite surfing in the Arctic. Oh yeah. Well, I was talking about Blood Dragon. It was like, oh, hopefully they'll do another one. I think uh, they've commented that they're not going to yeah. do another one, but they might do something crazy but weird, you know, with Over with the, the DLC path. for this. Yeah, I think uh, very recently, too, I think about like last week, they said they wouldn't be doing a direct sequel to Blood Dragon. Right. But uh, yeah, I mean, the door is always open for that sort of thing, that you know, ridiculous expansion. I could do like cavemen and dinosaurs or something, or yeah, yeah. aliens, or I mean, there's op opportunities to do like other cool things. Something to take advantage of the setting for sure. In whatever this is, I'm just looking for Lakshman. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. Come on, man! There's a child right there. Yeah. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I don't know. I think when you're the bird. when you're living in a war-torn country, 
uh, the F word is <clears throat> probably one yeah, of the. It's, it's milder for yeah, them. Yeah. It's very tame. It sounds yeah. like it could be a temple or shrine, but if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. I like his ponytail. Come find me when you're ready. They're doing great work with the first person cameras. I mean, the depth of field is really good at diverting the eye during uh, those first person cutscenes. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's interesting you haven't really played this series before, Wade. I know you like shooters because you're yeah. a Halo fanatic, right? You know, that, and it's not for lack of interest. I just, you know, there's so many games out. That yeah, I guess that's point. Hard to keep track, but definitely you want to start getting into this series. So this is probably what, save point? Yeah. Or actually, it could be some, actually, it could be mission. Yeah. It's probably that guy I just talked to. So should I go talk to this guy or A? Uh, a, a, I think, is, asshole, a is like a, right? yeah, just like a side quest thing. You, you probably want to stick with Sabal to see what the real meat and bones of the game. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> well, do you like open world games, Wade? Oh, yeah. Huge fan. Well, this sounds like the perfect combo for you, then. Yeah. I mean, I typically don't like games if they feel too linear. Well, Far Cry games are kind of all about the open world experience mm -hmm. to the point where... Yeah. I think with, you know, some of the other past entries, the story really isn't that great. Uh -huh. But what really makes them come together is this, like, sense of just personal exploration. Yeah. Uh, just going out and being like, oh, I'm going to take this Jeep. And, oh, no, there's a tiger. I should, you know, go and hunt yeah. that. Which, you know, I think can be just as important as story in games, you know? Just those interesting moments oh, yeah. you have. It's the story you come up with yourself. Exactly. Like, it's, yeah. it's your personal story. It's why you enjoy it so much. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I loved uh, going and liberating different sections of the map because you'll go and you'll fight these bases and actually oh. I, you know what we are not paying attention to that but I, you know I've, there's a marker that shows us where to go oh. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be too worried about it what's the purple oh flowers yeah so that's I'm right sure you, you could make uh, a syringe you could pick up plants and then make uh, medicine for yourself or stuff that like made you super like like hyper or could shoot things better you yeah know? Yeah, one of my favorite ones would uh, Ooh, like highlight yeah. all of the animals. Oh, the this area. looks too fun. This is good. Oh, man. Did I, brush it I think you got to be behind it. There you go. There we go. Just silly. <laughs> That'd be great if this was his first time ever using a hang glider. Yeah, <laughs> just probably no, is. Oh, cool. <laughs> just going to run out. That is awesome. I mean, everybody in America and school system like does those hang gliding classes. So yeah. He has that to <laughs> well, fall it's, back it's on? part of the whole standardized testing thing. Wait a minute. Oh, they wanted you to zip line. Oh, come on. Get on. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, boy. All hey, that. We're well. fine. <laughs> Your guy's impervious to injury. <sighs> well, I'm going to have to run <laughs> back up there. Use your jetpack. <laughs> That's the way up. Oh, right? here we go. Rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. See, in Minnesota, we're not used to all these hills and walls. How do I get on there, though? Or rope, for that matter. Mm -hmm. I've no never rope seen rope in, in my life. Apparently you haven't. How do you... <laughs> you should be able to just grab it. Yeah, I don't know why I can't... Can you jump into it? Nope. Guess not. Apparently he needs to learn uh, rope climbing. This yeah. This game won't hold your hand, I guess. Yeah, that's oh, just a... On, that's man. decorative rope. Not meant for climbing. I'm sure... Well, I guess they technically... Yeah, now they want you to go out there. Well... <clears throat> We'll see if we can find like a jeep or something. Ah, uh, no zip line. Shoot. Yeah, I should have just stayed on the the golden the glider. Path. I don't know why it didn't update. Oh, I'll ride one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought elephants were the only animals you could ride? Here we go. I can just borrow this guy's truck. Or even better, that four by four. Go, go, go. All right. Mm -hmm. Simple enough. I think it was. Yeah, you can drive and shoot, which was not a thing in the last game, believe it or not. Side arms only, which I don't have. Yeah. Oh, the auto drive must be nice. Does that just take you directly to your waypoint? Apparently um, not, because it's on the left. There we go. Let's see what, how it works. So now that I'm auto driving, can I shoot? 
No. Uh, I don't think you have a sidearm, so. I like this auto drive option. Yeah. <clears throat> well, because it, it can be a little unwieldy from what I remember. Well, and I remember I would speed through and I, I'm just a reckless driver, so I'm oh, always yeah. like falling off and. Yeah, I think the number of times I've cliffs, yeah. in a Far Cry game far exceeds the times. Oh, it's taking you <laughs> taking you out of the desert. Where is it taking you? Yeah. Where are we coming? That's weird. Like it is, so. The path it was taking is just like Okay, see <laughs> see that's how good when I drive. That's yeah. how good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you die. <laughs> the dangers of Karat. Wow. So Karat's a dangerous place. Yeah. Watch out for those four by fours. Watch out for yeah. Four and if you yours. see me on the road, yeah, just run the other way. What was that? I think they took you considerably closer to your destination. Should I um check the crafting screen? Okay. So it looks like I could craft. Yeah. About the same stuff you could in Far Cry three. Loot bags. Quivers. This is good. Let's do this. And now there's another one I need, but I don't have the skins for it. Okay. You can see I'm probably about halfway through the game, right? Yeah. We've made a lot of headway. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot. Far Cry games are short. Let's see our skills. Death from above. In Far Cry 3, they had this uh, cool thing where every time you... Uh, like took a perk, nice. it would add to this tattoo you had on your arm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Ooh. look like they're doing that this time around. No, and we asked them, we were like, oh, so there's two different sides, like the elephant and the tiger. Okay, I get it. The elephant must be more, I don't know, thinking defensive items, I'm guessing. Because mm -hmm. health stuff and gadget training. Okay. And this is more like combat, reloading, death from above. Okay, cool. And then here's our map. And we're really close to our objective, which is good. Well, cool. <clears throat> Let's go do this. Yeah, they actually talked about... Oh, great. Ropes. <laughs> our mortal enemy. Yeah, your worst enemy. And apparently that guy is too, because he didn't survive. Maybe, oh, uh, at least there's oh, stairs. Yeah, stairs. Yeah, so they talked about whether or not they were going to do that tattoo thing. I don't know if this is going to oh, work either. No, I don't think so. Let's uh, go for the rope. But they thought it was like they originally had it like appearing on your like knife or something, like different like ink notches on your knife. And then they're like, ah, it just feels a little too similar to what we did in three. Okay. Oh, oh here we go. We didn't have a grapple. <laughs> We're just being dumb. It's like in Tomb Raider. Did you play the new Tomb Raider? Oh yeah. You get that grapple, and it just like sticks into weapon or sticks into the side of rock without a problem. Oh yeah, the, the, unlimited the, use. <laughs> the weird like I guess how grapples thing that you Yeah, had. yeah, it's ridiculous. So, am I supposed to be able to use? I think that you now? can uh, aim it up at the uh, point where the rope is tethered. If you like, look up. Do I need to equip it? I don't think so. I don't think it's equipable. Like, uh, further up. Like, this to thing? The, to the top point. There oh, here go. we... Okay. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't use the ropes there. Yeah, why would it not let you use those ropes? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Is there another? Yeah, there is another one behind you. I think you're going to swing across oh, I see that... It. Chasm. Oh, this is cool. This is sweet. <laughs> Little Spider-Man action going on there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm a pro. I've yeah. done that before. Friendly neighborhood gamer. <laughs> well, that's a little far away. You got this. You got it over there. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh! Geez. Wow! Wow! He just got off the plane like an hour ago. And look at <laughs> yeah, getting all crazy. He's been bulking, training for this. Okay. 
He's been training. Yeah. I'm going to scatter my mother's ashes, but on the off chance that I'm brought into a civil war, yeah. Got to got to get ready. Absolutely. Is there another dude in there, I think? Oh, probably. They're never alone. <sighs> Come on. Oh, no so that was the tower you were talking uh -huh. about? Yeah. We were in one, but I bet we're actually climbing this one. Oh, I can move his body. Oh, I think that's new, too. Yeah, get rid of that. Get your propaganda out of here. Right. I actually love these sequences in the last game. I'm just a big fan of climbing in games. Yeah. Climbing and stealth, two of my favorite things in games. I loved the Prince of Persia games. They're sort of like that navigation element. Oh, Prince of Persia games are great. Yeah. I miss Prince of Persia. Hoping it comes back someday. Get out of here. Ubisoft, if you're yeah, listening. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's kind of like took a backseat to Assassin's Creed, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But looked looked like there was a zip line that you can use, or am I crazy? Oh, that's when you. There uh, probably is. Probably when I get up to the top. The tower. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll finally get to see it. Yeah, yeah. Don't you worry, Wade. <laughs> Not gonna let you down. That's great. Well, I think we're about five minutes shy of an hour, so that'd be a great oh, way to this cap would be up. Perfect. We'll zip line down and. It'll be a fun little romp. This is a good little game. Little good little look at the game. If yeah. you guys haven't played Far Cry, <clears throat> haven't played any Far Cry, this would be a good jumping on point because it's like a new story. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to play any of the last ones to enjoy this one. In fact, this is like building off of the mechanics that they've been working on for you know a decade of Far Cry games. Yeah, it looks like it's a more refined version of right. three. And if you like this, you could go back and play Blood uh, Blood Dragon because that was also an awesome game. Blood Dragon's just a great send up to <laughs> 80s sci fi. Well, that's one way to take care of it. Yeah, it's like, what was it? Like hijack? You just like bash it. Yeah, they set up, those are normal radio towers, and they like, the government sort of hijacked them to begin with to distribute propaganda. And oh, okay. you're going to up there to turn them back on to normal radio stations, I think. And then it gives you sort of an idea of what's going on in this section of the map. And so it, what it did just did was like show me all the different like submissions I could go oh, do now. Okay, that's that's really cool. And it cool. shows me like which uh, animals I can go hunt in these areas. Oh, they have rhinos. Oh, no, that's a no, that's a. Uh, I mean hippopotamus. <laughs> oh no! Although there, they do, rhino. they do have rhinos. Oh, you guys were not wrong. I, I think I just called it a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> an Hunter Rhino. An Andy Rhino. Cool. Well, let's take the zip line. So I don't understand what that mission was because we went in there. This guy was sick, and they were gonna like, amputate his leg. Yeah. And they wanted us to go deal with the propaganda machine. Maybe uh, he was the one originally going to be sent out to do was this. Was the propaganda like killing him? Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it it's, it just makes him sick, Ben. Well, we got two choices. Do you want this one or the other one? Mm. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a steeper drop. And then there's this one. That's just a normal incline. No, that one looks lame. And yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Here we go. It's for you, Wade. Whoa! <laughs> I can detach. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you're fine. Good work on the tower. We're broadcasting on that frequency. And, Ooh. The and then I get a little mission here that I can do. All right, well, that was a pretty good look, right? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, this is... The game looks beautiful. I love... Uh, the mountains in the distance. At some point, you're going to go up there and run around. In the mountains, I love the grapple mechanic, which is new. Which will probably like change up how you actually do the towers. And it's a good shooter. It feels good. If you like shooters, if you like open world games, Far Cry 4, I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, enjoy the game. And uh, happy Life Day. Happy Life Day. Yeah.